afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1178th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. And of course, that would be me. Good evening, traders. If you'd like to hang out with me after this video, you come on down to livewithoscar.com and jump into my free chat room, and I'll help you out. All right, so. Some stuff on the board we'll have to discuss, but I want you to know that futures trading can be extremely risky and cause substantial financial loss. It is not suitable for all trading, this crazy game that we're in, and for all trading accounts, I should say. And remember that a stop can absolutely be your best friend. So, what's on the board for this video being filmed on Wednesday night for trading, Thursday, May 22nd, 2014? Well... Odd, but we have them from time to time. We've got a neutral Omni. We're not calling up or down. I know the market looks very bullish after what happened today on Wednesday. I know that I came out and showed you some bear flags on Tuesday night for trading Wednesday, which did not produce yet. We don't know if they will or they will not. That's the thing about flags. They are flags until they're not. They either act like flags and build up and produce or they act like flags and build up, and then you find out it was actually part of something different. But the thing is, flags are extremely accountable. And in fact, I don't know how many videos in my series of 1,177 others I have named a flag is a flag is a flag. You know, and I've come out and I've done these videos and I put these flags all over, and those have turned out to be almost all correct. Not all, because flags don't always work. But almost always. So here's the thing. Last night I showed you the flags. It looks like they didn't work yet, but we're not out of those flags. If we get out of the flags, then of course we'll figure out what to do. So until we get out of the flags, we are going to look at some charts and decide whether those are bare flags we're looking at, or are they part of small continuation patterns. Charts are interesting. I think you'll like them. So we're going to start off with a neutral omni. Let the market tell us if they're flags or not. And then, you know, gold, if you ask me, I think it's getting a little heavy here. We'll see about that. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar. Is this a bear flag, which generally would be a series of quick down days, then a sideways to up, slightly slanted up consolidation before the next down move? Yes, that's the answer to that. Absolutely. That's what bear flags do. But is it a bear flag? Because lately the market doesn't seem like it wants to break down out of that bear flag. So is it a bear flag or... Is it part of a small, same exact chart by the way, no difference in charts, I just drew it differently for you. Is it part of a small head and shoulders continuation pattern? Because people think that a head and shoulders pattern tops out a market, but a small head and shoulders pattern is usually a continuation pattern like this one very much. So that very well could be what we thought was a bear flag sitting here, could very well be this continuation pattern. And away we'll go. We will find out, but because we have this bear flag here, and maybe or maybe not it's this, or maybe or maybe not it's the flag, we'll have to do a neutral omni for now, but we'll see what happens. The day is very young. It's only right now Wednesday night. Traders, E-mini S&P. Is this a bear flag? Well, it sure does look like one, right? Exactly what one should be. A few quick consolidation down days and then, well, a few quick days down and then a consolidation that heads up just a little. Down you usually go. That is what a bear, a bear flag should produce, but the same exact chart. Is it a bear flag or is it a small continuation pattern, which would be a very small head and shoulders. Now an extremely large head and shoulders that takes months and months on end to make could be a topping pattern, but a market as strong and as robust as the E-mini S&P and the Dow and the stock market is not going to be topped off by that head and shoulders right there. Hence, the small ones are continuation patterns. So it could very well turn out to be that this flag is really just a continuation pattern, and it's that. 
We're going to find out, but we're going to let the markets tell us. That's why we're starting off neutral. Then your next chart is the DAX. There is no real head and shoulders here, so that's a bear flag for now. If you wanted to stretch the imagination, you can go shoulder, head, shoulder, and then the flag's in the shoulder, but mm, a little bit weird. I guess you could do that if you had to. But right now, that's simply a bear flag, and we respect our flags. Then you've got the Russell. There is no possibility that this is a continuation pattern in the Russell unless it wants to continue lower because the Russell has been coming down for quite some time. It is below the 200 bar moving average. That is absolutely what a bear flag should look like. So a bear flag below the 200 bar moving average where it's spent some time now, um, I'd have to call that bearish, right? But you look at the next chart in the series and you say, are they continuation patterns or bear flags? The NASDAQ says breakout, continuation pattern. It doesn't have any of that stuff going on. It doesn't have the flag. It could have this small continuation pattern, but I say it's just breaking out, and maybe we should just follow the NASDAQ and see where it goes. So with all of that indecision I just gave everybody in this chart segment, you can see why we're starting off with the neutral omni. Pull your own charts, do your own homework, but do keep your eye on that NASDAQ. So, traders, there was my rather long-winded argument for why we are going to start off with the neutral omni. Let it tell us. Bear flag continuation pattern. We don't tell the markets what to do. We just listen in. So, you know, you want to know about the gold? Pull your own damn charts. What do you think? This is a candy store? You want to know about gold, you can come on down to livewithoscar.com. I'll show you the gold charts. All right, traders, so that's about it. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do another video after this one because, like all the friends I had back east before I moved out here to Vegas, everybody's leaving the trading desks and going up to the Poconos or the Jersey Shore. They're going out to the Hamptons. They're going everywhere else but trading for the next few days for the Memorial Day holiday weekend. They make extended weekends out of this. Now, my friends in Chicago do the same exact thing. They head out to the lakes. They're gone by Wednesday, Thursday, the latest. So I don't know if we're going to bother to do anything else past sometime tomorrow. Then after that, I'm going to enjoy myself. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Spend some time with the family. Smell the roses. Kiss the kids. Do whatever it is that makes you happy. And we'll all get back together after the holiday. Traders, I will see you at LaVaLaska.com. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. And that means Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.